my name is Bronson. I'm with Miller & Company. I am Dave with Miller & Company. So today we're going to just do a quick video uh, explaining the importance of uh, testing your CO2 detectors as well as, or your carbon monoxide detectors as well as your uh, fire and smoke detectors um, and how to do so. so. Generally, um, the smoke detector and CO detector will have a test button on it. Um, if you noticed uh, throughout its life and you, and you hear a chirping sound, um, it won't be as loud as that. It will usually um, mean that the battery is getting, the batteries are getting low or the unit is going out itself. Um, so you should probably test it every week um, and it, it'll let you know that it's functioning properly. Same with the smoke detector, you can do that. Um, and usually with a smoke detector, you have to hold it down uh, to see if it's working properly. Um, the batteries on the back, to make sure that they're in correctly, uh, this uh, red lever here needs to go down and make sure the battery is in properly. And then it will should work if you're, if you're holding down the button. Um, Anyway, that's a, that's a good thing to do and test it weekly uh, just for your own safety. Um, yeah. And you can also, um, if, if the unit is going out itself, not the batteries, you can, you can open up the back of it and check the date on it and, and find out if that needs to be uh, replaced. Yeah, because a, uh, a lot of CO detectors now are, uh, they come with uh, lifetime, uh, like usually 10 year lithium batteries. So, and they also, even if they uh, have replaceable batteries, uh, they lose their ability to accurately detect CO. So um, that's why you need to test them. Uh, it is, again, recommended to do it at least once a week, not just for safety. I mean, people die every year from CO, but also uh, for liability purposes. If you don't have batteries uh, or, uh, you know, working, uh, working detectors, uh, you will be held liable for any damages, um, so it, it, it can definitely protect you uh, in legal terms as well. So that should do it. Uh, also, real quick, we put you generally uh, put the COs uh, next to the thermostat in our properties, uh, and smoke alarms are uh, on the ceiling, at least one in every level, and in, in living spaces. Is that right? Yeah. All right. So that should do it for this video. Uh, hopefully you learned something and stay tuned for more. Thank you.